full of interesting architecture, historic landmarks and beautiful parks, Washington DC is a must visit for those exploring the US, but as the country's capital, it can be expensive. This is Katie from Creative Travel Guide and today we share 10 free things to do in Washington DC. Looking for more travel tips? Make sure to hit subscribe and ring that notification bell. So firstly we have the National Mall and nearby monuments. The National Mall is a vast stretch of parkland that spans around two miles from the US Capitol building to the Lincoln Memorial. Along the mall you can find several interesting monuments that are completely free to visit. This includes the Washington Monument, the World War II Memorial, Vietnam Veterans Memorial and the Lincoln Memorial. From the National Mall, you can also visit the Jefferson Memorial and the Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial, as well as the Korean War Veterans Memorial. The next free thing to do in Washington is the Smithsonian Museums. Washington DC is a great place for budget travelers because so many of its museums are free to visit. The Smithsonian Institute operates various museums in DC, meaning you can visit the National Air and Space Museum, the Museum of Natural History, the National Gallery of Art and the National Museum of American History without spending anything. The US Capitol Building is an iconic landmark in DC and you can learn about the history and admire the stunning architecture by taking a free guided tour. It is recommended you book a tour in advance to avoid disappointment. Then we have the Library of Congress. As the largest library in the world, the Library of Congress is another must-see site in Washington DC and is completely free. Check out the beautiful reading rooms and explore the exhibits on display during your visit. Another interesting museum to visit in Washington DC is the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum. Admission is free of charge but you do need to book a timed pass for this moving and educational museum. Then we have the National Archives. See the original Declaration of Independence, the Bill of Rights and the US Constitution all at the National Archives. Entrance is free but visit in the quieter season or early morning to avoid the lines. Then we have the Tidal Basin. The Tidal Basin is a picturesque reservoir just southwest of the National Mall. Taking a stroll around the basin is a great way to spend an afternoon watch in Washington DC and if you can, visit during the spring when the cherry blossoms bring the Tidal Basin alive. You can also rent a paddle boat or kayak for a leisurely ride on the Tidal Basin during the warmer months. There is a pedestrian loop around the basin offering views of the monuments and memorials nearby too. While not technically in DC itself, Arlington National Cemetery is just a few minutes drive from the National Mall and free to visit. This is a moving, haunting experience and we recommend seeing the changing of the guard at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. You can also pay your respects at the gravesite of President John F. Kennedy and then explore the historic Arlington House, the former home of General Robert E. Lee. Whilst visiting DC, why not take a trip over to the historic neighbourhood of Georgetown? Stroll through the charming streets, visit the waterfront and enjoy the shops and restaurants in the area. You could also choose to explore the historic campus of Georgetown University or visit other sites like the Old Stone House and the Tudor Place Historic House and Garden. And another free thing to do in Washington DC is the National Zoo. The National Zoo, also known as the Smithsonian's National Zoological Park, is a popular destination for both locals and tourists. Located in the heart of the city, this free to enter zoo is home to a diverse collection of over 2,700 animals representing more than 390 species. From giant pandas to majestic lions, playful otters and fascinating reptiles, the National Zoo offers a captive journey through the animal kingdom. Watch this video to find out the things to know before you go to Washington DC. Then to learn about the 10 best things to do in Washington DC, watch this video. We hope you have an incredible time in the capital and stay creative.